And we're back. Let's see what lies beyond. And that was the wrong button. I'm sorry for wasting your time with Alcides' stupid blast force. But anyway, what could possibly lie beyond this hole? I haven't seen him like this in a while. Hey, do you see what it is, what is behind us? What is that? It's a wall of acid! Hydrochloric acid! Activate PRS! It's concentrated! This is a tight spot. AB ignition, approaching acceleration limit. Oh no, can we get away? Push the energy field to the maximum! How are we doing? No, we can't get away! No, quick, change formation! Stop, we'll be swallowed up! We should be able to go, we should! Stop! Panthera, answer me! No good, he's been completely annihilated. Blast it, what a waste! Hey, there, there's a tunnel over there! Great, maybe we can get away. Increase speed, thrusters open full! If you could just do that, then why didn't you? Seriously, now we've lost Panthera! Shots fired. Stop, don't shoot anymore. That's not the enemy. What is it? It's Exardian, the legendary warrior made of white iron. It can't be! Legends tell that the Great War Machine was sealed in a cave similar to this. Don't you know the legends? When Fire go used to go to war against another planet, they'd deliver a doomsday machine to the other planet to terminate hostilities. And that's Zardian? Or Exardian, whichever? Yes, but I can't believe it's been sitting here all this long time. Hey, it's functional! What? So, yeah. Confirm power reactor! Confirm movement! It's alive! But where's the pilot? Zardian never had a pilot. It uses an artificial, cultivated, onboard live computer. Fantastic, then let's try to activate it. Begin initialization process. Connectors joining. Combining now. And I'll form the head! What an interesting development! A place like this is totally unnatural. There must be a leader somewhere. We'd better eliminate it quickly. So yes, we now have the legendary giant of white iron, Zardion, at the cost of Panthera. He's Triton, but better than Triton. See, I mean, look at that, he just shoots down all day. And there are gigantic death space bees. And as you may have noticed, he is level one. Meaning we have to level him. Brilliant, isn't it, folks? In any case. Yarg. Items and space. see what Zardian has. He has the Hyper Beam, the Lightning, and the Spheron. Let's try out the Hyper Beam. And no items for now, because... Hyper Beam is bad for now, anyway. Lightning? Let's see what this does. And Zardian go boom. Aw. You see, since we've been to it, now NGC-1611 is now on the map. In any case, unnatural place, yada yada. Must be a leader. Better eliminate it quickly. 
not with Zardian at this level. His power is sufficiently under 9,000. What's this, an artificial sun? No, luminescent microbes in the interior are merely gathering and giving off light. Let's destroy them so we can go forward. What? The armaments are too weak. The power of a legendary weapon should be greater than this. What should we... do now? Hmm, the legends also speak of the three treasures. You mean the fabled sleeping guardians of each planet? Yes, and we probably can't utilize Zardian's true power without their aid. And without Zardian at full power, we can't advance here. And it even kicks us off. How convenient. But yes, there have been a few things that have been odd on our trip throughout the game. Firstly, on Ocean Sphere, there was a beast that we did not have the power to face. I wonder if the legendary giant of white iron has sufficient strength to overcome its might. Though to be fair, we didn't even give it a shot. They were just like, ah, crud. Let's find out if Zardion has the power to destroy that. With the hyper beam, perhaps? Nope. With the spheron? an absurdly random attack. What about lightning bolts? Nope. Zardion can't even do anything about it. But yes, as you probably surmised, Panthera is gone. He, that's mainly the reason he has very little use. Is he doesn't stick around for the entire game. I should equip a sub-tanks, just to be safe. I need to refill those at some point, too. Oh, you can... that's... kind of stupid. Well, anyway. As you can see, we can now possess the power to oppose this thing. If I can aim. And it goes down rather easily to Zardian's might. And gives us EXP. Pretty beefy chunk of EXP, even. And what is this? Here it is! Here what is? You may be asking. It is the legendary treasure piece. But it is of no use to us right now. So what is next? Well, that's clearly on to, well, the wrong screen. We need to go to Hollow Sphere now. The flowers will bloom when the giant of white iron awakens. We've got the giant of white iron now. Oh, he stops shooting down eventually. Stuff. I... Yeah. I am brilliant, aren't I? Yes, Zardion is the best character in the game. He is designed to be the best character in the game. It's... Screw it, I'm switching to Alcides. Can hit these things better. He may be the best character in the game, but he still acts like a buffed-up Triton. And because of that, Alcides is never going to truly be outdated. 
just mostly outdated. Plus, he's just stronger, harder, better, faster. Doing faster makes us better. You could be able to jump through there without the thing hitting me on the way back. gonna switch back to Big X. Haha. <laughs> because I think we're almost to the end here. And we need to get him as much experience as we can. He's got a ways to go. He may be the giant of white iron, but he needs tempering. Another part! Alright, this is the one! And now we move on to Fyra. I think I know where it is in Fyra, I just... There was a wall there last time, so I'm not sure if that's actually where we need to go or not. I don't know what breaks those blocks. I think it's Sardian's ultimate weapon, but then if that's the case, then I'm wrong, obviously. Oh no, it's just there. That's convenient. We finally found it! And what did we find? The Light Arrow. Now, we can take on Ganon. and destroy artificial suns that are not actually artificial suns. But we are not yet ready to take on the final boss. Zardian is yet too weak to handle it. Look at that life bar. Would you want to take on the final boss like that? So, as you can probably guess, it's back to Ocean Sphere for us. Now that we've finally eliminated the entire enemy fl the well, now that we don't have Panthera to talk to anymore, <laughs> we don't have the dialogue at the beginning, making this slightly faster. Also, Zardian starts off with the level of power everyone else does. Or everyone aspires to, so... Imagine how strong you'll get when we actually power him up. But for now, we need to top him back off, so I'll see you soon. Ah! No! I wasted a sub-tank! Curse you! Strike a pose, Zardion! I'll see you all next time!